hopeless, broke and hungry. 7,000 people in Ireland are homeless. Two and a half thousand of them are children. The Wild Deer Association of Ireland is helping by feeding them hot food on the streets of Dublin. The venison burgers are a lifeline. It's, it's good to know that it's things like that around, yeah? Helps me out a lot. My family are good to me as well, but like, this take the pressure off them, so I won't have to keep them asking them, you know? So. I have to say, they do a great job. More so for me, and uh, for you to help the people out. Helping the people of Ireland and all the misfortunes. And I'm going to tell you something now. The work that you do for the misfortunes is precious and you are not recognise for the work that you do. I was hungry. He doesn't understand you. Yeah, I was hungry and um, I, I, I've been coming down here for a little while now. And it has been good. Yeah. And the food are lovely. Yeah. You have to give back something. When you have the opportunity, there's people down on their luck, and when you have the opportunity, we have the venison, and instead of selling it to game dealers, we just prefer to give it away to whoever we can, really. Ah, they love it. They love it, really. You know, some people are really badly in need, and um, a, a warm meal, something. They get cold food here all the time, but when we supply the cooked venison, the cooked burgers for them, they love it. Ireland has three main types of deer, red, fallow, and seeker. Hunters from across the country donate their game to provide the meat for the burgers. The Wild Deer Association of Ireland supplies premier game in Tipperary. Paul Fletcher and his son, Paul Jr., create the handmade burgers. We collect throughout the, the, the 26 counties of Ireland. Right? We have vans on the road that call to the hunters and collect all, all we have documentation which will show from the hunter from the time that he shot it, date he shot it and where he shot it. So we have full traceability on all animals. All animals are tagged when they're shot by the hunter. We supply the hunter with the tags. Therefore, that is recorded in all intake documents. Uh, and then we have our own recipe, right, which will remain a secret because we're three generations now in this business. And my son Paul is now up with me as well. He's a, he's a partner in the business. And we have our own, our own recipe that we've developed over the years. And uh, basically, we've left it into different people to try and see what they think of it, and everybody loves them. For many people here, the venison burgers will be the only hot food they eat today. And for some people, it will be the only hot meal they have all week. I love when it's just waters in your mouth, you know. It's lovely. I had it a few times. Fine, it's all right. Yeah, it's OK. It's beautiful, tasty, and uh, very nice. Members of the Wild Deer Association of Ireland also volunteer to serve people at the barbecue in the centre of Dublin on a Saturday night. It's always good to help the next person and give them a sense of hope that somebody is thinking of them, you know. And at the moment with this uh, Ukrainian situation, there, at the, there is a lack of food available because a lot of donations are going abroad. So we're going to be up on our own ante as regards supplying and being here and all we can do is our best for these people. Very humble people. We feel it's good to be involved with people and help them out where possible, because God knows, any of us are only two bad days from being in a situation similar. It means a lot. You see some very deserving cases here. You have people living in sheltered accommodation. They have no way of cooking food for themselves. And when we can provide them with, with a cooked meal, you see the happy smiles on the kids' faces when, when you get them their burger and, and putting the sauce on it and the cheese on it for them. It's very good. It's, it's enjoyable. Paul Fletcher and his son drive three hours from Tipperary to bring the fresh venison burgers to the city and then cook them too. It's when you see these children here tonight who mightn't have eaten for a day or two and they're watching you cooking the burgers and they're nearly drooling looking at them and they actually, when they say a thank you, it's from their eyes, not their mouth. They're so delighted to see you. Hundreds of people queue every week to be fed at the charity barbecue and pick up food. Some of them are homeless and sleep on the streets. Others are living in hostels with nowhere to cook. So the name of the charity is uh, La Falche um, and it means welcome in hand in Irish. So what we do is we come in here on Saturday night and it's more so like helping vulnerable people, not only the homeless. So we will help 
like from young children in hostels and people sleeping on the streets and stuff. Like the homeless, they wouldn't get a lot of meat and like they, they like it kind of fills up their bellies and stuff as well. The charities say people across Ireland are struggling to put food on the table. And as prices keep rising, they're seeing things get worse. We, believe it or not, in Ireland today, there's an awful lot of people struggling to keep food on their tables here in Dublin and Ireland. And it's very, very important for them people to be fed. It's 100% protein. There's nothing added to it. It fills them up, gives them a, a, a full belly for the evening. They leave here happy. They leave here full. And they're, they're very, very appreciated for that. Many of the volunteers supporting the, the barbecue have previously been homeless and are keen to help. When you are homeless, when you don't have anything, that is the only hope you got at least a place to survive because it's important to survive it's not only hope at the moment we're seeing there's a lot of homeless every single week um, there's no social and affordable housing the rents are becoming too high in this country and that's why we're seeing even ordinary people now coming to us for assistance help just food shopping every week from deer in the fields of Ireland to venison burgers for the homeless on the city streets Hunters are happy that their sport is helping people eat and forget their troubles, even for a little while. More information is available in the description below.